Oh, hello. Welcome back to my Chanel and to another Shein haul. What a surprise. <laughs> Much to us spooky people's delight, the summer is finally ending and Halloween season is upon us. But before the summer ends, I figured I would squeeze in one last summer haul, so here it is. I have a little bit of everything in this haul, but mainly I want to say the overarching theme is alternative slash goth. And as always, you can use my discount code VESSELBLOOD15 to save 15% off your order should you choose to purchase. I'll leave links to everything I show down below. This video is sponsored by Shein. Yes! <laughs> so without further ado, let's begin. First up is the spider print grommet lace-up crop cami top and ruffle hem skirt for $22, and I got size medium? This immediately caught my eye, and it's very cute. I love red and black, one of my favorite color combinations. The spider print is very cute. I like it a lot. This set is nice and stretchy, especially with the skirt, and there's no zippers or anything. You just have an elastic waistband, so you stretch it open to put it on. And then on the bottom of this skirt has a really nice fancy satin ruffle at the bottom. Did I mention it was at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my brain's a little fried from being sick. In case you can't tell, I'm a little congested, but moving on! The top is also stretchy and we have adjustable straps. Love that. We also have a tie section in the front where you can see straight through to the skin. I love it. Another thing that I love about this set is that the skirt has attached shorts, so you don't have to worry about flashing anybody if you bend over or jump around dancing, both of which I do frequently. Next up we have the Rouge Tanky Hem Cami Top and Bow Tie Back Bodycon Skirt for $8 and I got size medium. Now I do love wearing a shorter skirt, but this is, uh, this is a little scandalous. It's about an inch or two away from my butt. I would not be able to bend over in this without risking it all. <laughs> but I do absolutely love the color of this set. This is a beautiful red underneath with a black mesh on top. Very, very sexy, which you know I love, because who does not love to be sexy? Unfortunately, there are no adjustable straps on this top, which makes me very sad, but can't have everything. This set does have a good amount of stretch to it, which is quite nice. I love the ruching in the front, also that it kind of points down to like a handkerchief type hem in the middle. I also love that there's an attached string in the front of the skirt, so you can, you know, scrunch that in the front and then have the strings come up around your hips, which is very flattering. I just wish that the skirt was a couple of inches longer, that would make me a little more comfortable. And then also the back of the top, I wish it was wider. It just feels very thin. But other than that, I love it. Man, talk about wearing a handkerchief and not much else. This will help me get lucky. Yeah, with that face, you need all the luck you can get. What was that? Nothing. Next up is the Shein Tie Front Ruched Ruffle Trim Bow Detail Bustier Bodycon Dress for $18. I got the color blue, and I got this in size large, large and in charge. The minute I saw this dress, I was obsessed because mainly with the blue color, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous against the black mesh, and it is. <laughs> Can confirm I was correct. This is one of the most comfortable dresses that I've gotten from Shein. It's just so stretchy, the material is nice and soft, I love the royal blue color, and I also like that there's a keyhole kind of tie in the middle in between the breasts. I will say though, I feel a little bit insecure about my boobs possibly coming out of the dress with the top. I think for this purpose a medium would have suited me better, but other than that, it fits me perfectly. You can see it fits me like a glove. Like a glove. I love the ruffle on the bottom, the ruching everywhere is so flattering. It also helps to hide some uh, food babies if you're going out to dinner in this little number. I also love that there's matching ruffling alongside the boost area. The boost area. Area. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. The bust area, where the bust is, up here. I also really like the straps in that the design is split here, forked, if you will, but I wish the bows weren't on it. I mean, it's very easy to take them off, just snip them off there. But the bows on the straps makes this feel more like a nightgown or pajamas in conjunction with everything else going on, like the ruffles. So I would remove that if I were the designer. But I absolutely love this dress, love the color, love the fit. It's glorious. Next up is the Shein Tie Front Trumpet Sleeve Mesh Top for $6. I got color pink and size extra small. And I got size extra small because this is a very, very stretchy top. And I want it to be very form-fitting, as you can see. It is. Now, I've gotten this before. I have this in black as well, and I use it so much. It's such a nice little addition to any outfit. And I love me some trumpet sleeves. So, of course, I'm a sucker for this. So, I had to have it in pink because I love pink. Next to black, it's one of my favorite colors. And this is perfection. I love how the sleeves fall when you move your arms. It fits me perfectly. It is very, very stretchy. Nice soft mesh. And the color is perfection. Ugh, could you get any more Barbie? Margot Robbie's playing her. 
Seriously? And Lady Gaga is going to be Harley Quinn. What is this world coming to? Next up, we have the mesh hollow out bodycon dress with outliner for $3, and I got the color black. Of course, because I love black fishnet. This is very sexy. I remember when I first took it out of the package, it was about this big, so it was all compressed. And I was like, there's no way this is going to fit my entire body. But as you can see, it does. And it looks uh, quite fetching, if I do say so myself. This is essentially a body stocking but it looks great. <laughs> Again, I'm very much a fan of layering when it comes to outfits with textures and colors. So this is gonna be so much fun to layer with like crop tops, you know, two piece matching sets. It also has a unique kind of neckline where it has three little strings that come off and then almost like a checkerboard in the front there. Then it has a thicker black band, a thicker black band at the bottom. Next up, we have the skull print ruched tanky hem lace up backless cami top for $6. And I got size extra small. I love this top. Normally I'm a size small to medium, but because this has, you know, the lacing in the back where it's pretty much backless, I thought I could get away with an extra small and I was correct. And I really like the style of the handkerchief top. I think that's what these are called, but it's basically just the fabric in front, which dips down to a point and then has some ruching around the bust. And then the rest of it is just string. Very, very sexy, especially from the back. And I love that it's string because that means it is super adjustable. Don't have to worry about sizing too much but I love it. I think it looks great. It is nice and stretchy. The color is perfect. I love the print and uh, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. What is it with you in these tiny tops? Are you newly single or something? No, that's just you. Next up, we have the solid high waist mesh skirt without belt for $15 and I got size large. I love this mesh skirt. I'm a big fan of mesh in general, in case you couldn't already tell, but I love how dark this mesh is because with some mesh, it's very see-through, very, you know, easy to see your legs or whatever you're wearing underneath, but this is darker than most things that I've gotten from Shein, which I enjoy. And the attached panties are in fact attached, they are sewn in. And for the waistband, it's just a really wide piece of black elastic, very, very stretchy. And I just love how flowy this skirt is. It feels amazing and I'm very happy with this. I'm five foot four and this drags about an inch on the ground or so so it's not that long but I think it'll be perfect to wear with some wedges or some high heels. Next up is the sheer mesh cami dress and tube bodysuit without belt for $16 and I got size small. I was very surprised by how much I like this bodysuit and I also really like that it's strapless. I don't think I have any bodysuits that are that way. Uh, the only thing is that it snaps in the bottom so you can open, you know, to go to the bathroom or whatever you need to do. And the snaps are right in the middle, right where important bits are. So it feels kind of weird. <laughs> but aside from that, it is very stretchy, very comfy. And the dress itself, I really should have sized up because this is not as stretchy as I was hoping, which makes me sad, but what are you gonna do? The top is definitely a little snug on me, but thankfully the straps are adjustable. The dress is also very flowy. I love how it moves when I twirl around, but I think this is a really cute dress and I know what I'm wearing to emo night now. Just because it's black, that doesn't mean it's emo. If I'm listening to secondhand serenade while wearing it, it does. Next up is the halter neck ripped crop top and I got size small. I was showing my boyfriend what I got in this haul and this was his favorite thing, which kind of surprised me, but I like it too. It's very comfy, nice and stretchy, and it looks like it's been eaten by moths. Very chic. <laughs> I wanted to get this top one because I love how distressed it is, but also because I have a pair of matching pants, which I got from one of my previous hauls. So now I have a matching set, but the arms are sewn to the body of the top and it is a halter top. So it just ties around the back of your neck. Fits me perfectly, very comfy, and I'm really happy with it. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like as a set. I haven't tried them on both together yet. Next up is the Shein zipper side solid skater skirt for $13 and I get size large. Now in comparison to all the other skirts from this haul, this looks quite long, doesn't it? <laughs> this fits me perfect around the waist. And I really like how the waistband has that nice detail where it kind of dips down into an arrow in the middle. This has a side zipper and it does have some stretch to it. And unfortunately, like most white things, this is see-through, but I love it. I think it's very cute. I may have to hem it just a little bit, but other than that, I'm a fan. What, do we belong to a country club now? No. I just wanted to play tennis so maybe Tom Hiddleston would notice me. Next up is the holographic ruched PU leather bodycon skirt for $11. I got size medium. I love this material. I actually got this because I have a holographic corset that matches this material, which I also got from Shein. But very much like the other skirts in today's haul, this one is very short in the back. It's about an inch or two away from the good old cheeks. <laughs> 
This does have some stretch. I absolutely love the rainbows. This would look so cool in a club. And I also like that this is ruched in the front so you can kind of pull it down a little bit to make it longer. And there is a zipper in the back. But I just wanted something to go along with my corset made out of the same material and I'm very excited to put them together as an outfit. I should really just make a whole outfit compilation of all the two-piece sets that I have. Next up we have the draped backless halter metallic bodycon dress for $7. I got this in size and medium. This dress immediately makes me think of Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. I love the duochrome fabric. I'm always a fan of finding material like this, so I had to get this dress. And I actually just did a Disney outfits video for going back to school, so feel free to check that out. I'll leave it up in the cards. But this is very Aurora goes to the club, and I love it. The material was a little more stiff than I was expecting. I was expecting this to be kind of thin and flimsy. It's not scratchy, but it almost is. I don't know if that will make any sense. This has no zippers or buttons anywhere. You simply pull it on and it has a halter neck which goes around the back of your neck. And this does have some stretch to it as well, but I just love the cowl neck. I think it's really flattering, fits me well, and I love the duochrome material. It's so cool. I actually really like this one. That's it? Yeah, nothing bad to say. Shocking. Next up, we have the holographic draped collar, metallic cami top, and ruched bodycon skirt for $12, and I got size small. Now, with this one, I could have sized up for the skirt, but this is a little tight on me, uh, especially around the middle. But thankfully, with this set, it has a lot of stretch to it, which is fabulous. This has ruching on either side of the hips. There is no zipper on this neither the top nor the bottom. This does have adjustable straps, which is always nice. And I love all the ruching and draping going on with the top here. I love the material. It's very cool, very holographic, lots of rainbows. I will say though, this material is on the cheaper side. It does feel like bathing suit fabric. So that's the only downside. Next up, we have the hollow out arm sleeve for $3.50. I got the color white and it comes in one size. These are very comfy, very cozy, nice and stretchy. I like how all the rips seem very planned out in these arm sleeves. There's an order to them, which I feel is very sci-fi in style. Like it's giving me a little bit of fifth element vibes. Like this is something Lilu would wear. I love how stretchy these are. They come all the way up here, which is fantastic. And this also has a hole for your thumb and for your pinky. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. They look exactly like the picture. They're very soft and stretchy to put on and I quite enjoy them. They also come in black. Next up is the holographic draped front backless hanky hand metallic halter top for $5.49. And I got this in size small. I love all of the draping on this. I think it's very elegant and it looks very cool, also very sexy. This is a halter neck and the halter is just one piece of fabric so you pull it on over your head and then around the back it attaches with a chain which is very cool. I love the whole backless look and I just love how this looks, especially in the front because it has that nice point in the front as we've seen with so many tops in this haul. The rainbows on this thing are insane and I love the silver. Yes, this is very space chic and it's also very comfy. So I'm a big fan of this one and I can't wait to wear it. Next up we have the single band platform mule sandals for $40. I got color orange and size 40 or eight and a half American. These are perfect. They are everything I was hoping for and more. I love platform sandals and these are so chunky. I love them. My feet fit perfectly on them. They're not too big nor are they too small, I think. And the color is amazing. I love this bright orange. I don't have enough of it in my wardrobe and now I'm slowly starting to add it in with different pieces. Like I have a bright neon orange belt that will go perfect with this with a pumpkin on it. And I also just got an orange shirt as well. So I love me some Halloween orange. The bottoms are rubber and they have some nice texture on them so you won't slip and fall on your butt. Very happy with them. Next up we have the Buckle and Metal Decor Mary Jane Shoes for $31. I got the color black and I got size 41 or size 9 in the US. Now I've gotten these shoes before from different websites but I was hoping getting a size up would help because I got the size 8.5 or Chinese 40 and they were too small for me. Like my toes were rubbing up against the front of the shoes and I couldn't wear them which is a shame because they're super cute. I love the design. So I thought sizing up to a 41 would help. It kind of does. Now my feet are a little weird in that my right foot is bigger than my left foot by a little bit. So my left foot, perfectly fine and happy, no rubbing happening whatsoever, but for the right foot, my toes are still rubbing just a little bit enough to be annoying. So I'm very sad about that. But these are very cute. I love the design. I love the heart O-ring in the front with the bat wings. These are nice and comfy, very lightweight. And then we have the holographic geometric pattern chain square bag for $14. This is so 
freaking cool. I've never owned anything like this before, but when you turn the flash on, it's so cool. I love this. It is such a unique feeling bag as well. It's kind of soft and all the geometric parts to it. It is very pleasurable to run your fingers along it and feel it. And then on the inside, it is black and we have a bunch of different compartments. We have a zipper one, so you can fit a lot of stuff in this. It's very lightweight as well. And then the bottom kind of folds out so it can sit on top of a table. And then we also have a detachable chain so you can put it around your waist or over your shoulder. But this is the coolest bag I've ever seen. I love that it changes from kind of drab, dark black to this amazing holographic, in-your-face colorful bag. And that is it for my Shein goth alts whatever you would call this haul summer haul last one for the summer narrow begins spooky season <laughs> the council of spooky bitches have met and have decided it is in fact halloween you're welcome and if i sound a little nasally or congested or sick in this video it's because i am i've had a sinus infection for the past week and it is not fun no bueno highly don't recommend it <sighs> but it does feel back it does feel back <laughs> It feels good to be back in front of the camera making content. I'm still not 100%, <coughs> 100% as you may be able to tell, but we're pushing through. <laughs> also, Shein has already started with the Halloween stuff and some of it is already sold out, which is insane to me because they put it up maybe the week up and then psh, it's gone. So a lot of stuff in my wish list is already gone. I see you people, stop buying all the spooky shit. It's mine! <laughs> so I don't know if you remember, but a couple of videos ago I mentioned having some very special plans for this October, and I can now share that I am going to be an emissary this year for the Vamp Fangs Eternal Night Vampire Ball held in Salem, Massachusetts. But it's gonna be the first weekend of October, and I'm gonna be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So of course, you know, the minute I got my invitation, I was planning on what to wear. And I'm definitely gonna have at least two outfits and be very extra and over the top. But I'm really excited to share it with you guys as well, so be sure to be following me on Instagram and TikTok if you wanna see more content and updates about that. I think there's gonna be an absinthe bar, three dance floors, two DJs. So let me know if you guys have ever been to one of the Vamp Fangs events. I heard they also just had a goth night for the first time in Salem. And I've also never been to Salem before, so I'm very excited to go visit that place and see all the cool witchy spooky shit. <laughs> but comment down below and let me know if you guys are gonna go to the Vampire Ball in Salem. I know they're also having one in New Orleans. It'll be really cool to meet up with you guys and say hi to you in person. But I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And the spiderweb print. Spiderweb print? Uh. Not spiderweb print. Spiders. I have no idea what the fuck size I got. Medium, apparently. <laughs> I like being able to breathe, I would like to continue to do so. But this definitely has some shape to it, some, uh, some oomph. I don't know what I'm saying. Some oomph. Fabric has oomph. <laughs> Chutzpah. <laughs> Cajones. Balls. <laughs> this fabric's got balls. No idea what the fuck size I got in that either. Spooky bitches. It's me. I'm spooky bitches. <laughs> I'm dying. I actually made an effort with my eyeliner today, too. I don't know if you can tell, but it's in the shape of bat wings, like Batman. Righty then, let's get this show on the road, shall we? What the fuck?